absorption of sound the absence of an echo means the sound waves are absorbed and not reflected back the controlling of echoes in a building is called acoustics when a sound wave strikes on one of the surfaces of a room some of the sound energy is reflected back into the room and some penetrates the surface parts of sound wave energy are absorbed by conversion to heat energy in the material while the rest is transmitted through sound energy is absorbed by acoustically soft materials that sound waves encounter an open window is an example of 100% round absorption that is no reflection whereas bathrooms have hard reflecting surfaces and therefore very low sound absorption properties sonar an application of echo the property of reflection of sound is utilized in sonar sound navigation and ranging which produces and receives ultrasonic waves after reflection from an obstacle it is used in ships submarines etc to measure the depth of the sea let the distance between ship and obstacle be y time taken to cover total distance 2y is t speed s is equal to 2y upon t hence y is equal to s into t by 2 here s is the speed of sound in sea water which is 1560 meter per second good and bad reflectors of sound hard materials like metals and brick walls are good reflectors of sound they produce good echoes soft and porous materials like paper thermocol clothes and carpets are bad reflectors of sound they are good absorbers of sound these sound absorbing materials reduce the reflection of sound and hence echoes are not formed that is why the walls ceilings and floors of auditoriums and cinema halls are covered with sound absorbing materials some important terms associated with sound waves a wave can be shown graphically in these figure one wavelength wavelength is the distance traveled by a wave in unit time period distance between a and c is called wavelength it is measured in meter m two amplitude the maximum displacement of a particle on one side from its mean position is called amplitude ay is the amplitude of the wave shown in the figure 3 time period the time taken by a wave to complete one oscillation is called time period its unit is second it is denoted by t 4 frequency number of waves passing through a point per second is called frequency its unit is hertz it is denoted by f f is equal to 1 by t this is the relation between time period t and frequency f relative speed of sound in different mediums sound waves can travel through different media example solids liquids and gases the speed of a sound wave depends on two factors a temperature of the medium and its b elasticity the speed of sound is maximum in case of solids lesser in liquids and least in the case of gases it can be calculated by using the formula v is equal to v lambda where v is frequency lambda wavelength of the wave through air gas sound waves travel at 343 meter per second when air is completely removed from a space it is said to be vacuum no air means no particles thus sound can not travel through vacuum because it does not contain any particles to pass on the vibrations do you know supersonic aircraft travel faster than sound their speed is measured in a unit called mach 1 mach is equal to 343 meter per second